The country observes official period of mourning. Prime Minister leads parliamentary tribute to the late Edward Siaga, and the nation says goodbye to one of its finest sons. You're watching Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Vanessa Silvera. June 19 to 22 was observed as the official period of mourning in honor of the life and service of former Prime Minister Edward Siaga. The island's fifth Prime Minister died on May 28 on his 89th birthday. At the time of his death, Mr. Siaga was in the United States receiving treatment for an illness. Members of the public got a chance to pay their respects on June 19 and 20 at the National Arena, where Mr. Siaga's body was lying in state. In Parliament Wednesday, Prime Minister Andrew Holness led tributes to Mr. Siaga during a joint sitting of both houses. Edward Siaga is without question one of the fathers of the nation. He was central in the campaign to leave the Federation. He was a framer of our constitution and he did tremendous work in advancing legislation to create the Charter of Rights. He shaped our banking sector and financial sector, our urban development, our trading and education system, our tourism and agriculture. In fact, there is scarcely any area of national life that he did not either initiate, shape or advance in some way. 19 members of parliament and senators, along with two former prime ministers, remembered their former colleague as a nation builder, a visionary and a champion of the poor. They also thanked Mr. Siaga's family for the sacrifices made during his service to the country in and out of parliament. Let me take this opportunity to thank his family for lending him to us, often at your own expense and time. But at this moment, you can be satisfied that he worked very hard in building this nation, and we are eternally grateful. May his soul rest in peace and light eternal shine upon him. Meanwhile, scores of people gathered at the Tivoli Garden Square to celebrate Mr. Siaga's life at a wake on Saturday night. The former Prime Minister spent 43 unbroken years as Member of Parliament for the constituency. And on Sunday, Jamaicans came out in droves to bid final farewell to the former Prime Minister. Held at the Cathedral of the Most Holy Trinity, the funeral brought out local and international dignitaries and thousands of Jamaicans from near and far. In his tribute, Prime Minister Holness said Mr. Siaga never lost sight of his vision to help the have-nots join the ranks of the haves. All his work, from culture, to sports, to education, justice, the economy, music, everything, all his work has been beneficial to the poor. Today, we pay tribute to a great leader, a conscious leader, a statesman, a visionary and a thinker, a man of dignity, order and excellence, an indefatigable spirit, a man with the courage of its conviction, a modern man, an architect, a teacher, a father, a mentor, a friend, a man for all seasons, a man for all peoples. Now we lay you to rest, Papa Eddie. Mr. Siaga was interred at the National Heroes Park. And that's how we close out Jamaica House Weekly. Be sure to join us next time for more of the news stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm.